Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the arc through, which is one of the malfunctions uh, can be seen in your uh, the converter stations. So we will talk about the one by one, which I have included the most important uh, points here and which you have to know and understand carefully. <music> So let's start one by one. The first point is actually saying that is this is the fault likely to occur, okay, mainly at the inverter stations. It is occurring mainly at the inverter stations where the wall voltages, the vo voltages across the wall are actually the positive. So I can say the voltages across the wall at that condition are actually the positive and most of the time so most of the time it is the mostly we will have the positive type of voltages across the walls okay when the fault is occurring and this uh, this is kind of the malfunction or you can say the fault na? so that is actually occurring on the inverter side and due to which this this is happening now so this is the first point we have uh, talked about now we will move for the next one a malfunction in the gate pulse generator or the arrival of the spurious pulse can fire a pulse which is not supposed to conduct but it is in the forward biased so what will happen due, due to this malfunction a uh, this malfunction in a gate pulse generator so if we are having the gate pulse generator as we are required to fire that so for, for the gate pulse generator if this malfunction operates or the arrival of the spurious pulse can fire a pulse which is not supposed to conduct so that is actually not considered to be some uh, conductor but it is a forward biased if it is although it is in the forward bias condition now next example so let's uh, let we are saying uh, let us consider the six pulse converter having the six walls and the upper portion and the lower portion commutation portion and one of them i have considered the wall number one which is actually the successfully commuted its current to the wall number three so we have actually considered that is there is no commutation failure the successful commutation occurred from the wall number one to the wall number three that is uh, the transfer of the current from the wall number one to wall number three now that id current will flow in the wall number three the initial voltage across it is actually the negative so what will happen the it will the initial voltages at the starting of that time the process the initial voltage is actually it is a negative and then it becomes positive so firstly it is being negative and then it will initially it will be in negative condition then it will be in the positive uh, condition afterward now next point so if you talk about this point number four then uh, we are uh, we, we can say that if the wall is fired at this time so let us we have fired at that condition when there is a commutation is occurring from the wall number one to wall number three when the voltage is actually the negative and then becoming the positive at that time we have fired the wall so if we are firing that wall then the current will transfer back to the wall number one from the wall number three that is actually the commutation failure so it is actually it should be one one two then two three then the three four then the four uh, four five and the five six this uh, this way it should be operated if we are talking about the six pulse converter but what happens due to, uh, due to this the uh, mal operation or you can say the commutation failure and the wall one is again operating now the effects of an arc through is similar to the commutation failure as i have already told you in the above point the commutation failure is kind or you can say the R3 is kind of the commutation failure. So this is uh, similar to the uh, commutation failure. That uh, the commutation from the wall number one to wall number three or wall number three to wall number five all should be all should be in such a way that should be co uh, conducted for the 60, day, 60 degree operations. But what is actually the happening in that period of time? when the wall number one to wall number three the current is then the current in the wall number one is going to decrease here and the current in the wall number three is going to increase here and that period is called the overlapping period okay guys and that is called the commutation period 
and that go in the commutation period if that is actually not happening that it is the current is decreasing in the wall number one and the current is increasing the wall number three if that is actually not happening so that is called the commutation failure that is a failure for the commutation from the uh, commutation for one to three or three to four or four to three and so on so i can say the commutation the effects of the arc through that is the effects of the arc through it is kind of the similar to the commutation failure please remember this okay guys now we'll move for the next one so the voltage across the wall number four is fired one second it is similar to the commutation failure one second so voltage 4 is fired and the ac current goes to zero when the wall to uh, wall to current goes to zero that is it is specifying that the voltage across the wall number 4 is fired and the ac current and that ac current is actually becoming to zero when the wall to current goes to zero now now we will talk about the firing of the wall 5 so that is in the kind of sequence if you talk about the firing of the wall number 5 through the gate pulses let us suppose that is become the unsuccessful unsuccessful operation for the commutation then bridge and bridge recovers to its normal value not the normal value it is normal operation after the wall 6 is fired so after the wall 6 is fired the wall number 5 uh, uh no 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 that is the firing of the wall 5 if the wall 5 is uh, actually fired and that becomes the unsuccessful firing then bridge recovers to the normal operation when it will recover when the wall number 6 is fired although the uh, due to the wall number 5 and its uh, unsuccessful operation it will goes into the malfunction state but it will be recovered or it will be in the normal state when the wall number 6 is fired now now we will talk about the this point that is a single arc through if you talk about the single arc through is also the self clearing which we have discussed for in the uh, which we have discussed actually in your uh, the last lectures if so arc through is also the self clearing so that uh, fault condition arises and it is self cleared that is kind of if causes that led to it removed and that it become removed it is similar to the commutation failure so this malfunction is mainly due to the first this is uh, mainly due to the failure of the negative gate pulse so as we are providing negative gate pulse to it so it is a failure of the negative gate pulse second the early occurrence of the positive grid pulse as i have already told you so what are the actually causes of the commutation failure the same way we are actually writing here i have already discussed the current id current the drop in the ac voltages and also this is the one of the point which i have went taken that is the that is the early occurrence of the positive grid pulse so at actually it should be operated in the 60 60 degree operation but uh, due to this uh, if the some of the condition okay some of the disturbance if there is uh, causes the firing before that actually it should be operated or actually should be uh, fired it uh, it fired before that that is called the early occurrence of the positive grid pulse now, the sufficient high positive transient over voltages on the grid or anode so we are having the positive transients over voltages on the grid or the anode okay guys now the main problems main problems due to the arc through so that is not the through that is the due to so due to the arc through so what are the actually the main uh, problems which are uh, if the arc through is occurring in your system so yeah, and uh, in the transferring of your uh, the from the current from the wall 1 to 3 and 5 and uh, just like that as, as as at a time only the two thyristors are going to be operated so what are the actually the main problems related with the arc through so if you talk about the first point that is actually saying that uh, it uh, reduces it uh, reduces the delay angle that is the alpha angle that is your firing angle your firing angle is delayed due to this arc through now 
it introduces the dc component this uh, that is the introduction of the dc component as the capacitors is also used in your system so dc component can be added here and where it is actually added that is the transformer current so in the transformer current as it is only carrying the ac current but due to this the transformer current the dc component is also added now it changes the harmonic component as we are always we are facing the harmonic components so due to this dark through the harmonic order the harmonic components are actually changed there so i hope up to this you have cleared your concept related with the arc through so tata bye bye and thank you